You're watching the Black Wonder Channel, where we discuss current events, geopolitics, and much more. Dr. Bill Livingston, celebrated cancer specialist, was the very image of the traveling snake oil salesman. He was neither a doctor nor a cancer specialist. His real name was not even Livingston. More to the point, the rock oil tonic he pawned was a useless mixture of laxative and petroleum and had no effect whatsoever on the cancer of the poor townsfolk he conned into buying it. He lived the life of a vagabond, always on the run from the last group of people he had fooled, engaged in ever more outrageous deceptions to make sure that the past wouldn't catch up with him. He abandoned his first wife and their six children to start a bigamous marriage in Canada at the same time as he fathered two more children by a third woman. He adopted the name Livingston after he was indicted for raping a girl in Cayuga in 1849. When he wasn't running away from them or disappearing for years at a time, he would teach his children the tricks of his treacherous trade. He once bragged of his parenting technique, I cheat my boys every chance I get. I want to make them sharp. A towering man of over six feet and with natural good looks that he used to his advantage, he went by Big Bill. Others, less generously, called him Devil Bill. But his real name was William Avery Rockefeller, and it was his son, John D. Rockefeller, who would go on to found the Standard Oil Monopoly and become the world's first billionaire. The world we live in today is the world created in Devil Bill's image. It's a world founded on treachery, deceit, and the naivety of a public that has never wised up to the parlor tricks that the Rockefellers and their ilk have been using to shape the world for the past century and a half. This is the story of the oligarchy. Thank you for watching the Black Wonder channel. If you found value in our content, please like, subscribe, and share.